Hey guys, welcome back, OGA Outdoors. If you're new, my name's Ben. I guess you can see we've had a change in the weather. It's like, it was in the high 30s this morning. It's supposed to get up to like 72, 73 today. So I already got my run in today. The weather was nice. I had to get a fire going this morning because it was cool in the house, but it'll probably only go for another hour or so, and then I'll just bury the coals. And then tonight, I'll when it gets cooled off again, and not probably about seven o'clock, I'll just uncover those, put a little wood in there, get it back going, get another good coal bed going cover it back up and I'll be ready for in the morning. That's kind of the process we do here a lot because we have a lot of these days where it's like in the 30s and it warms up to 70. So it's kind of hard on the fire. You can't really have a roaring fire all day. Yeah, that's why I split my wood so small. It helps it to dry faster too. But I've got a stack of hickory out here in the wood yard. It's my next thing that's closest to being ready. So I'm gonna try to get it moved in here and I'm gonna explain to you some of the process I go through of why I'm doing this and what it, what the benefits are. And I've got a really big big reason at the end I'll show you that why I want to get this wood in here so bad. So y'all stick around today. All right, so you can see I'm here at my stack of hickory. Um, I guess the first reason is all this hickory, most of the bark's coming, just comes right off of it. I think with this loose bark on it, it holds more moisture and that's another thing that keeps it from drying. So all I'm doing is I'm just taking these little pieces and I'm stacking them on the back because I think they're dry enough. They'll just go straight into the shed. Take the bark and toss it up in the front of the ranger because I'm trying to clean up as I go. You know, see like, like this piece, I deem it's, it's dry enough to go right now. So we'll stack it on the back. These two need to be split down. They're to, they're larger than anything I normally sell, so I'll go ahead and split these down before I stack these. But I'll put them on up toward the front of the Ranger. It's a little time consuming, but it helps me get this wood dried out quicker and I can get it in the barn. I think it'll season a whole lot faster because we're about, it's December the 3rd. It's, uh, it's about to start raining. December's normally our wettest month of the year. It's supposed to rain like the next six eight days so i'm gonna get as much of this out of here today as i can and into the barn the biggest guide i use as you can tell like this piece it feels really heavy so i'm sure it's greener than like this one i know this one's smaller but it's it's not near as heavy as that piece was I just like to take take the time to keep the place cleaned up. I could just throw this bark on the ground, but throw it up here in the ranger and I can carry it and put it on my burn pile. So these that I consider dry enough or small enough or a combination of the both already, I'm just going to take these straight off and stacking them in.
So it's just as simple as that. Just break down the big ones. You know, mostly I just split them one time. Sound pretty dry to me, but I'll just stack them in here. There's like a couple reasons for this. The, the main thing is I, I get them out of the weather because I live here in Alabama and it, it's like the rainiest time of the year here is December. It's about to start raining. They say tomorrow and going to rain for like the next week. And who knows after that. But this stuff just sitting out there, it was, it was stacked tightly. Starting some of it's a little molding a little bit and it was looking kind of punky. I'll just take that and add to my stack over the other end of the barn. It'll dry just fine, especially when the colder air coming. That's what I'm looking for. Just get it in here out of the weather. And you know, if customers come around, you know, dead of winter, it's cold, they're, especially if there's snow or ice and rain and whatever. But if it's really cold, their eyes light up and their wallets open up if you got dry firewood in the barn here out of the weather. So we'll get this stacked in here out of the wheelbarrow. We'll finish splitting what we got. Then we'll go back out to the stack and load up what, what I need to in the Ranger to get to what I really want to show you. back out here I want to get the rest of this loaded up this pallet that this is sitting on it ends right in here so I want to get this far enough where I can move this pallet I'm actually going to move starting right there move the pallets out a little bit to get them away from the stack over here maybe a foot or two it's not going to waste too much space just to give more room for airflow so I had a little more mold and fungus and stuff on this wood than I wanted but I'm going to continue just to move it over a little bit and just you know just a little space more room for airflow but I got something underneath this pallet right here. I hope it's still there, but let me get this wood moved and we'll see what we can find. All right, so we got another load of hickory loaded up, ready to go process it and stack it in the barn. Like I said earlier, I was gonna move these pallets, but I'm, I'm hoping there's something right here under this one. So we're gonna look right here real quick for the, see what's here, if it's still here. Maybe not. Got it. There you go. It's my Christmas money. All right, guys, as you can see, it's warmed up nicely. I'm going to shed the toboggan. Now I got a ball cap and a short sleeves, and got a load of hickory here ready to go over to the barn. We'll split it up, stack it in there so it can get the seasoning really quick, I hope. So I guess y'all saw that. I found my. My Christmas money. It's a, I got a jar inside of a jar. I was kind of for extra precaution. I never buried money before. It was more of just a experiment, I guess you could say. Looks like it held up pretty good. I don't see anything wrong with it. I I went back and looked on Instagram, and best I could tell by pictures and things, it's been in the ground probably about 11 months. I buried it sometime. I don't know, January, maybe December, maybe closer to a year. There's been so much firewood going in and out of here. It's hard to tell basing on on the pictures but just a little fun thing i did but anyway guys if you like my videos go and give me that thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit that notification icon you'll know when i put out new videos and like always i will catch you on the next one and really appreciate you watching thanks